Hi guys, so look at this question. Again, a question you should know this concept. This concept you should know. You should be good at these calculations, right? So David has kept a certain amount in bank for two years at a compound interest rate of ten percent per annum. If the value of the currency is depreciating at the rate of five percent per annum, then what will be the loss or gain percentage for David? Okay. So now uh, the compound interest is ten percent per annum and the currency is depreciating at the rate of ten five percent per annum, right? So you should know that this is a this is a successive uh this is a successive percentage change why successive because this change happens one after the other other okay for example if you have 100 rupees okay so on 100 rupees in you kept one year in bank okay so the value actually you get is rupees 120 for example let's say bank gives you 20 percent per annum okay no bank gives it right okay but still let's assume something good so rupees hundred uh and one year twenty percent per annum this bank gives you one twenty back okay so now but at the time let's say the currency or the market has fallen by ten percent right or let's say it has fallen by five percent so if there is a depre if the currency is depreciating by five percent per annum then the actual value is one twenty will reduce by five percent that will become it will reduce by six rupees. 5% of 120 is 6 rupees, that is 114. Okay, so that is the actual value. This is a successive chain, right? If you see it, on 100, you did increase 20 rupees, 20%, uh, okay, that will give you 120, and then successive change of 10%, that will give you 10, uh, sorry, minus 12, that will give you 108. Okay, so finally you got that, uh, sorry, not 10%, I think 5% here, okay, successive change of 5% here, okay, there's 5% change will actually give you 114. So you got, with respect to the market, you got only 14% increase, right? Not 20%, okay? So same fund, and you can also apply the, the formula of successive chain, right? The formula of successive changes, A plus B plus AB by 100, okay? For example, the value is 20 increase and five decrease. So A way you will keep as plus 20, B way you will keep as minus five, okay? Then you see what is the value net change here? 20 minus 5 minus 20 into 5 by 100. Okay, so 20 minus 5 is 15, 15 minus 1, 14. You can see that, right? So net is net increase is 14% increase. So if you get the value as plus, it is increase. If you get value as minus, it is decrease, right? Automatically, that goes, right? Okay, so now let's solve this question, guys. So once you know this concept, you can just solve this question now. This question says that uh, it the value is increasing by 10% so compound interest for two years 10% you can just simply write this data 100 will increase by 10% two times okay the successive change of 10% two times should be 121 it should be 110 and then 10% again should be 121 right and then the value of currency is depreciating at the rate of 5%. This all I've taught in the in my compound interest videos. You can see this uh, if if somebody don't know this right in the concept videos. Okay, and then uh, there's a depreciating of 5% per annum, right? 5% per annum. So two times 5% in decrease, right? Even I've taught in my percentage videos that if you change the order, it doesn't impact, right? For example, uh, if you first increase 100, if you first the 20 and 5 change will give you 14. If you first decrease 5, it becomes 95. If you next increase 20%, then 20% 20 of 95 is plus 19, it becomes 114. So answer is same, right? So it in this, by this arrow method, right, the percentage value doesn't change. It doesn't change actually, right? So now I can just simply do it now. You can see here that 121. Now 5% decrease and 5% decrease, right? So best way is to do by successive change. Very simple, right? 5 and 5 decrease. So A is equal to minus 5, B is equal to minus 5. What is the formula? A plus B plus A by 100. Minus 5, minus 5, and minus, minus will become plus. So plus 5 into 5 by 100. The, what is the net change, guys? The net change is minus 9.75%. Uh, that means 121, you need to reduce by 9.75%. Okay. This 121, if you reduce by 9.75, but then do it very fast, okay? Just think with me, think like this. 121, you first decrease by 10%. 10% is 12.1, so value becomes 108.9. Okay, the value becomes 108.9. Okay, 
but actually now you need to uh, your decrease 10 percent right so you need to add 0.25 percent here so what is 0.25 percent but that is not uh, uh, this 0.25 percent you need to add for this 121 only right so first you decrease by 10 percent now you just add 0.25 percent right so what is 0.25 percent of 121 so for 121 it's one percent is how much guys it's one percent is 1.21 you can just round off to 1.2 okay so it's one percent is 1.2 what is 0.25 percent it's just one fourth so one fourth of 1.2 is 0.3 that means 0.3 we need to further add because we subtracted 10 percent so i need to add back this 0.25 percent right so i need to add 0.3 that becomes 109.2 that means the value has so out from 100 so after all these changes from 100 it has finally reduced uh, finally increased to 109.2 so what is my answer here so it is gain right so because the value is increased so it is not loss it is gain so gain is of 9.2 percent that's the answer okay and i hope, hope all of you got this concept behind the question okay yeah And also guys, so I have a new uh, batch starting here. Okay, so this is a morning batch from, I take classes, uh, this is a batch and in this I'll be taking classes at 7 to 9 a.m. Okay, uh, and this is uh, about, uh, I'll take permutations and combinations starting from 29th April. Okay, so also uh, all of you know that, uh, those who are preparing for, from my YouTube channel, please follow all the classes from uh, practice session for all the special and free classes and academy and many people uh, want to do live classes uh, more practice right so they can join these batches and uh, this batch i'll be starting uh, with all the courses all the recordings are available so whatever courses i have taken all the recordings are available so basically i am I, I i told all of you that i am in this year i have taken lr i taking lrdi and we're solving 500 plus sets of lrdi including every possible topic like 70 80 quant based puzzles 40 50 maxa minima Venn diagram chocolate distribution based process like that okay so to total 500 sets we are doing we already have done 100 and its recordings are available in my profile okay and uh, also uh, in quant we are solving almost 2000 plus question so lots of lots of practice sessions we are doing so all the questions we are adding in youtube also many questions i am doing in uh an academy so daily two to three hours of classes we are doing so obviously there will be more practice at an academy okay uh, so those who want to join these batches, they can use my referral code Ravi Roda and they can, uh, they can avail the discount and you can just uh, message on my, my uh, uh, telegram group or you can just come in live classes. Okay. So in telegram group, uh, I'll add you and, uh, we can just practice a lot. So anyway, so there's absolutely, uh, uh, a lot of uh, practice sessions going on. So all of you must follow, uh, plus and special classes at an academy. Okay and uh, in i think all on 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 free classes only i have solved almost 500 plus quant questions and these are good high quality quant questions along with some 160 lrdi sets so to access this you can just go to my profile and you can just to my profile and you can just go to my special profile in an academy the link is in description and just click special classes so all this class all these sessions are absolutely free they'll ask you invite code you can just put this invite code here okay and then there are a lot of plus classes, paid classes also. Okay, so your wish, whatever you want to join, you all can join. Okay, just keep studying. Okay, thank you.